So I think it's safe to say that AI has completely transformed the way that we use and make digital products. And as we step into 2026, I want to break down the top six AI tools that I'm personally using when it comes to creating my own digital products, because knowing which tools exist is one thing, but knowing exactly how they can help you to build a real digital product is where the real power lies. And before I jump into the laptop and show you these six different AI tools that I'm using, I just want to quickly lay the foundation of this video so that everyone that's watching is on the same page. Now, when it comes to the world of digital products, there's so many different ones out there. We've got spreadsheets, planners, templates. We've got PDF guides, audio files, the list goes on. But in my personal opinion, I would say turning your knowledge into a digital product is probably going to be one of the best options. I truly believe that many of you that are watching this video right now has specialized knowledge in a particular niche that people on the internet are actively searching for. And once you know how to combine various different AI tools together, this is going to be the best case scenario for those of you that are looking to build your first digital product. Which now brings me on to one of the first AI tools that I'm using on a regular basis, which is Hostinger's AI Website Builder. Now I've shown this on my channel recently, but there's so many different ways that it works. There's so many different new features that they're adding. And the reason why I'm showing this first is because this is going to be the foundation of where you're going to be able to list your digital product and also put yourself in a position of being able to get traffic. And one main benefit of using Hostinger's AI website builder is that you can build up to 50 different websites with this particular package. And that means that you're going to be able to test out various different niches. You're going to be able to see what works and what doesn't work. So let me show you exactly what I would do if I wanted to build a simple website for me to list a digital product to help people grow from zero to 10,000 followers on Instagram. So I will just enter a prompt just like this. And what this says is this is going to be a simple one page website that has the purpose of listing a single digital product, which is going to be a video info product on how to go from zero to 10K followers on Instagram as a beginner. And it's also important to add something like this that says it's going to need a checkout feature because what's going to happen is that Hostinger is now going to add an online store to your site. So I'm just going to call this brand name Instagram launch pad. Again, guys, this is all an example. I just want to show you how this AI website builder works. So once you've entered your prompt, it could be something as simple as this. You're just going to click on create a website. And there we go. Just like that, the site has now been built. So for you guys that have been watching my channel, you already know how simple this is. When it comes to getting a site built with Hostinger, it's a one page site with a product right there so people can check it out if they want they can click into it get a little bit more information and the example that i'm showing you right now is the most simplistic way that you can use hostinger because when it comes to making any adjustments you're going to be able to do that if you want to add any page you can literally do it on the left hand side i've only got this one page for now because that's the main aim for this website but if i wanted to add any other page as you can see i can add a blog page i can add contact us about us services privacy policy the list goes on i've also got the option to use any of their ai tools as well so we've got the ai image generator ai writer blog writer ai seo assistant even an ai logo maker but yeah as we move forward into 2026 hostinger's ai website builder is something that i'm going to be using more and more but moving on to one of the second ai tools when it comes to being able to help you build your first digital product which is going to be Gamma. Now, again, Gamma is something that I've shown on this channel many, many times. But just like with many AI tools that I'm going to be showing you today and just general AI tools, they're always making adjustments and adding new features that's going to help you make things more efficient. So as we can see, I'm on Gamma right now. And for those of you that maybe haven't heard me talking about Gamma, maybe you've never seen it before. What this is going to be able to do is help you build a couple different types of digital products. It can help you build an ebook, it can help you build simple PDF guides, and it can also help you build the foundation of a video info product. And that's because they've added this new feature that I think I might have shown you once, or maybe I haven't shown you on this channel, which is called Studio Mode. So once you've created your account, which you're going to be able to do by visiting the link in my description, there's also going to be a discounted link to Hostinger in my description as well. All you need to do is click into it just like that. And let's say if I wanted to create the 
info product that I'm going to list on the website that you saw me just build. I could just enter a prompt, something simple that says, I want you to create a mini info product titled zero to 10K followers on Instagram for beginners. I can then select how long I want the video info product to be. Today, I'm just going to select five cards, which is basically five slides because I don't want this video to be too long. But of course, if you was looking to take this serious, you may want to make it even more lengthy, but it all depends on your niche. So I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna say that I want it to have plenty of text and then I'm gonna click on generate outline. And it's gonna be on this stage where you're now gonna make adjustments to it when it comes to what you want to go into the info product, how you wanna structure it. If you wanna include a short summary about yourself, you can do that by clicking on this button and adding an introduction. So you've got complete flexibility when it comes to what you want to go into the info product that you're building. But because this is just an example, I'm just going to leave it as it is and just show you guys how this AI tool functions. So you can select the theme over here. I'm gonna leave it on this one. I'm gonna say that I want the images to be an illustration and then I'm gonna click on generate. And just like that, as we can see, it's been able to do exactly what I wanted it to do. So each of these different slides that you can see have information on them. And it's gonna be with these slides that you're going to use when it comes to creating a video info product. Now, the good thing about this is that if you wanna make adjustments to it, if you want to add a new slide, you're gonna be able to do that. If you wanna use AI to update anything, you could just come over here to the ask agent button. You can select it like that. And if you want to update it, you're just gonna enter a prompt. So this is really powerful because you don't have to redo everything from the beginning. You're gonna be able to update anything literally using artificial intelligence. So this is the basics of how to use Gamma. Of course, there's some other ways to use it as well when it comes to making eBooks, when it comes to making other forms of info products. But with this one, let's assume that I'm completely happy with it. What I'm now gonna be able to do is just click into these three dots and then come over here to where it says export and what you now need to do if you're following along is just export it to PDF. And I forgot to mention that when it comes to using Gamma, it is free to use. If you wanted maybe higher limits, you're gonna to have to upgrade it. But when it comes to testing it out, you're not gonna to have to pay anything. And this is the same thing with the next AI tool that I wanna show you, which is the third on the list, which is called Descript. Now, many people probably haven't heard of Descript before, but it's an AI online video editor. You don't need to download anything to your computer. You're gonna be able to use the AI capabilities when it comes to editing videos. You're gonna be able to sign up for completely free and this is what the interface is going to look like. So you can use the AI speaker option. You can translate videos from a different language. You can create short form videos. You can edit a podcast. You can create animated videos as well. And I'm gonna be showing you all of these different features in future videos. But today what I'm gonna be showing you is how to turn the info product that we just made on Gamma into a video. So to do that, you're just gonna select this button right here. And all you literally gotta do is just upload the PDF document that you just exported. So as you can see, I've already done that. And what it's doing right now is creating the outline for the video. It's also generating the AI voice as well. And as soon as it's done and it's ready on the timeline for me to view, I'm gonna be back ASAP and show you the first draft and the final results. All right, guys, I'm back. And as we can see, it's now been able to turn it into a video. So the reason why I like Descript is for so many different reasons. One of the first ones is that if I wanted to use my own voice when it came to reading out this entire script, and by the way, Descript came up with the entire script. I didn't need to write out word for word everything that you can see on the screen right now. So that's one major benefit to using it. It's also automatically added an AI voice to it as well. So if I wanted to switch it with my voice, I can easily do that. But let me just play a short snippet of it just so that you guys get the point as to how all of this works. Welcome to your complete guide on building an Instagram following from zero to 10,000 followers. If you're just starting out, and wondering how to grow an engaged community from scratch, you're in the right place. This is a practical roadmap designed specifically for beginners who want real results. Let's start with a reality check. Most new Instagram accounts only gain 50 to 100 followers in their first month without a clear strategy. But here's the good news. With the right approach, reaching 1,000 followers in just 30 days is completely achievable. 
So yeah, guys, that's the basic premise of how all of this works. Now, I only use that AI voice as an example. My advice is that if you're looking to create an info video product, you use your own voice because it's going to be a lot more personal. But again, it all depends on how you want to do it. But so far in this video, you guys should now know which AI tools you're going to use when it comes to building a website, being able to create your info product. But I just want to move on to one of the next AI tools that's going to help you when it comes to image generation, which is a popular AI tool that I'm sure many of you have heard of, which is Google's Nano Banana. So with the direction that we're moving in when it comes to artificial intelligence, I'm still blown away by what we're able to do with it because with Nano Banana, you can use it when it comes to creating Instagram content. You can also use it when it comes to creating images for your website. There's so many different use cases. But I'm going to show you a simple one right now. When it comes to accessing Nano Banana, you just need to go over to gemini.google.com and you're going to see create image over here. You could just click on it just like that. And I'm going to show you how it works when it comes to creating a very simple image. So I'm going to enter this prompt. What this says is create a professional product mockup for an ebook. I'm going to change that to info product titled zero to 10K Instagram followers. I've given it some information right here in terms of what I want to be on the image. You can pause the screen right now, take a look at the prompt. But for the most part, it's very straightforward. I'm just going to click on submit. Let's see exactly what it's going to be able to come back with. All right, perfect. So first time around, it gave me exactly what I wanted. And this doesn't look too bad. If you wanted it to give you a higher quality, you could just request it. And eight times out of 10, it's going to be able to do it. But this is a good example of an image that I'm going to be able to use because with this, I'm now going to be able to download it right here. And then I can go back over to the site that I built using Hostinger at the start of this video. And I can click into editor. I can come over to the product that's been listed by going over to store on the right hand side, clicking on products. And I can either add a brand new product by selecting this product over here. As you can see, I've got all of these different options. But if I just click into this one, what I'm going to do is remove this placeholder image. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to upload this image. And as you should already know, Hostinger is now pulling all the information from this image that I just got from Nano Banana. With this, it saves a lot of time because if I wanted to get the exact same image from Nano Banana by hiring someone, they would have charged me maybe 50 or 100. However, now I've been able to get it for completely free. And one benefit to using this feature in Hostinger is that you can update the image by clicking on edit. You can change the background if you want it to be transparent. You can do that. If you want it to be white, you can also do that as well. So I'm just going to click on save and we're going to take a look at what it looks like on the website. All right, perfect. So just like that, as we can see, everything has now been updated on the website as well. So yeah, Nano Banana is useful when it comes to this use case. It's useful for Instagram content. It's useful for general content. If you want to make images for your website, if you want to make images for any other social media. And I've got another video coming out real soon where I'm going to show you 10 different ways that you can use Nano Banana. So be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss that video. And speaking of social media, this brings me on to one of the next AI tools that I don't really see that many people talking about. Some people talk about it, but not that many, which is ManyChat. Now, ManyChat is probably something that you've never heard of, or maybe you've heard of it a lot of times, but it's simply a automation tool that you can use when it comes to being able to promote a digital product on your social media, for example, Instagram. You've probably seen so many different Instagram profiles that upload images, reels, and they have a CTA, which stands for call to action where maybe they're telling you to comment a specific word. Maybe they're telling you to DM a specific word as well. And what happens with that is that when you comment that word, it's going to trigger an automation. And that automation is going to send you a DM where they're now going to be able to give you more information about the digital product that they have. And building these different many chat sequences is very straightforward. To give an example of an Instagram page that's doing exactly what I'm talking about in terms of having a many chat AI automation set up and directing traffic to a digital product, there's this page over here, completely faceless, where what they're doing is posting these different reels. If I just click into this one, by the looks of it, it looks like a simple reel where they're talking about Notion templates. 
And in the caption, we can see that they've told people to comment the word life and people have already started doing it. And if we just take a look at the link in their bio, it's going to take me directly to this page where they've got all of these different digital products listed. And this, of course, is something that I'm doing myself. This is a automation that I set up not too long ago. And as you can see, it's already been sent over 1000 times to 1000 people. And it can look a little bit complicated. Essentially, I'm telling someone to comment something from there. It's going to trigger various different things. But setting this up doesn't need to be complicated because many chat has made it simple. If I just come over here, I'm going to enter this into the chat box and I'm going to say that I want a DM automation to promote a digital product where I'm helping people grow on Instagram and the trigger word is going to be Insta so they can have a comment tip or they can send me a DM. And from there, ManyChat is going to take you through a series of different questions. So I'm just going to quickly answer them right now. It's going to ask me maybe two or three different questions. And right there within a few seconds, ManyChat was able to build out the sequence. And by the way, when you sign up to ManyChat, it's going to be automatically connected to your Instagram account. So you're going to be able to use this when it comes to being able to increase the amount of people that are going to see your digital products. But this now brings me on to the sixth AI tool that I want to share with you guys that I believe will be super helpful for those of you that want to build digital products for 2026, which is going to be any Google AI product. And the reason why I say that is because Google has a wide suite of different AI tools. I've already shown you one in this video, which is Nano Banana, but they've got so many others. They've got Google AI Mode, they've got Google Gemini, they've got Google AI Studio, and they've also got Notebook LM. And to give you a basic example of how Notebook LM can help you, as you can see right here, it's going to be able to help you when it comes to giving you clarity on the best steps to take when it comes to even building your digital product from the very beginning. Because what you can do is enter a prompt and you can build a prompt using this Notebook LM prompt builder. Once you paste it directly into Notebook LM, from there, it's going to be able to help you out in so many different ways. It's going to be able to help you when it comes to the step-by-step -step process to build out your digital product, whether it's an ebook, whether it's a video info product. You can also use Notebook LM when it comes to generating a customized mini step-by-step -step guide. Because the prompt that you would have entered using that step-by-step -step quiz, it's going to know exactly what type of digital product you're thinking about making. And then from there, you can now use Notebook LM when it comes to learning everything about your niche. And to give you a general idea of the type of mini course it's going to be able to come back with, there's this one over here that is going to help me when it comes to building out this entire Instagram digital product that you see me make throughout this whole video. So I'm just going to quickly play it right now so that you guys can get a idea of which video you can go away and make yourself. So. You've spent months, maybe even years, building an audience online. You're not just collecting followers, you're literally sitting on the foundation of a real business. Today, we're gonna to walk through the exact AI-powered blueprint that can turn that audience into a sustainable income, and it all starts with a digital product you could launch in just a matter of days. So yeah, guys, that's only 20 seconds of the video, and you can make as many videos that you want on any topic to learn anything. So that's one way that you can use Notebook LM, there's other ways that you can also use Google AI Studio. You know, we'll be here for the next 30 minutes if I was to break down all of the different Google AI products. But if you wanted to watch a recent YouTube video that I made not too long ago, where I'm able to spend a little bit more time breaking down how all of these different Google AI products are gonna be able to help you with your digital product, you're gonna be able to watch that by clicking the link right there. Check that out straight after this. It's already helped out so many people. Like this video if you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.